In this video, we are going to interact with our blockchain network. In order to do it, I am going to use a plugin called MetaMask. MetaMask is a simple plugin. It is a Chrome extension plugin which you can install on your Chrome browser and then you can be able to connect to your RPC of your blockchain network and you can start doing the transactions. If you are familiar with this, how to create MetaMask and how to, you can connect your RPC, you can just skip this video. You don't actually need it. If you are new to blockchain, just stay tuned. Our network is running absolutely fine. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in my browser metamask.io. Here I'm going to create one wallet. So I'll click on get Chrome extension. So I'll download it from here. I'll click on add Chrome add extension it takes a while so once this is done I can see an option to get started so I'll click on get started so here I have two options either import wallet or create new wallet here you can click on import wallet and you can be able to give the a 12 words mnemonic which will allow you to log in into your metamask or you can create a new ethereum account so i'm going to do a new one i'll click on agree and give one password so generally i enter 129 so again it's 129 and create now it is going to generate a 12 words mnemonic so i'm going to save this mnemonic because i'll have to use this mnemonic in the next step in order to log into my metamask so i'll have to select it so i'll fast forward a little that's all we are done your metamask setup is done so here you can see that our first account and we have a zero ethers now what i'm going to do i'm going to connect to our rpc to the metamask so in order to do that i'll take the ip address of our virtual machine i will have to take the public ip address of the virtual machine so i'll copy it and i'll go back to metamask i'll type some name parity pigoe it's up to you you can give any name so you can type https and paste the ip address colon 8545 8545 is our network and then click save if everything goes well you can be able to see that it is connected at this point of time you don't have any ethers so what I'm going to do I'm going to connect the earlier account which has ethers that is our node account I'll select it and then I'm going to add the password password the password is parity poa123 and then click on import now you can be able to see our ethereum account with 100 ethers loaded in it till now our network is fine we have connected our rpc to the metamask and we have imported our account we have ethers in our network so far everything is going fine now in the next video we are going to deploy one smart contract and see how the network is performing see you in the next lecture